Okay guys, welcome to Raffles Garage. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to do a compression test on your car. Um, we're doing compression tests on this one to see how healthy the motor is. Uh, even though it has 127k miles, um, we still don't know the condition of it. It might have been abused or, or something, but yeah. We're doing compression tests. Um, we don't have a compression tester, so we want to go rent one from AutoZone. Um, they asked for a deposit. It was like 44 bucks, 43 something. Um, and the tools you're going to use for this is a ratchet, a size 10 to take off the coil packs, and an extension and a 5.8 drive for the spark plug. So the first thing I'm going to do is unplug all these coils. So I'm a little itch. Sometimes it's easier, sometimes you use a screwdriver. Luckily I was able to get them all off. Um, disconnect your injectors because you don't want fuel leaking in there and flooding them while you're doing this test. Um, they're out already and these will need to be replaced. The way you can tell if they start becoming yellow here, then you're gonna need new ones. Um, and these take NGK. Don't put that bot shit NGK. I believe those are like four or six bucks each one. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up putting This inside has a replacement as the spark plugs. And then we're gonna crank it over. And that's the reason why we take off um, all the coils and the injectors because you don't want this to start up. You just want it to crank over and get some compression test on it. Um, you might have a check engine light on it after this compression test reason B is because you're gonna get a misfire code um, just to erase the light or disconnect the battery or there's a fuse there you could disconnect for the ECU to reset it um, this button is to release the compression it has after you do one and for this best if you use two persons so Okay, so do a couple of cranks. Um, you saw how it went up and up and up. Um, on these cars, 2CZs, um, your compression is supposed to be from 145 PSI to 203. So, and it's supposed to be 16 PSI of different of every cylinder. So the first one is 180 or almost 190 um, if you have a good memory remember them if not write them down and do the math oops so like I said this button is to release the pressure and 
and then all you do is unscrew it and check the other ones. So we're at 185 on this motor or on this cylinder. One eighty. So this one's at one ninety two around there. One ninety, one ninety two, one eighty, and one like eighty five. Huh? So overall, this motor is good. We got compression around one eighty from one, actually one eighty to one ninety two. So we meet that range above 145 to 203 and 16 difference from each cylinder so overall this is a good motor um, so now all you gotta do is put everything back together the same way you took it off you put it back on guys another little tip is don't over tighten your spark plugs you don't want these to break in here because they're a pain in the ass to take out once you break them so these you don't want it tight 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 So, as you can see, everything's put back together. Later on, we're going to swap out the spark plugs because um, we didn't know they were bad. Uh, later on, we'll swap them. Make sure you plug all your plugs back in. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe. I'm out.